Hi, my name is Zoe Grace. I'm nine years old and I'm in fourth grade. Today, I'm going to teach you about energy benchmarking. What is energy benchmarking? As some state legislators think, energy benchmarking involves more than just looking at your utility bill. It uses data to compare like to like. You can't manage what you don't measure. Comparing the energy use of my home to my school wouldn't make sense. Comparing the energy use of my school to another school like mine would not would make sense. Sharing that data would allow those schools to share best practices. It would allow the schools to save energy and save money. Saving money and energy is good. This is just a small example. Other buildings and businesses could benefit from it too. Each year, we spend over $400 billion on energy for our buildings. This is 40% of our total energy consumed in the U.S. Energy benchmarking also reduces greenhouse gas, which is good for our planet. This is the only planet we have to call home. I think I'm worth the extra effort. So is our planet. Many cities and states take energy benchmarking seriously. There's no record of anyone being shamed for doing it. That's just silly. My academic testing at school helps my teacher understand how I'm doing. This data helps drive our future studies to improve our performance. Energy benchmarking does the same thing but for buildings. I hope this clears some things up for you. If you'd like to learn more, and I think you should, visit energystar.gov or simply Google benefits of energy benchmarking. Thank you for your time.